Hi everybody, today I'm talking about another interesting cut of a meat. It's called dingo bait. I don't think many people never ever heard of a dingo bait. Even you Google it, dingo bait doesn't come up. Okay, so this is dingo bait. Okay, I will show you. This is the Ocean Wagyu dingo bait. Okay. Dingo bait, depends on the companies. Specification is a little bit different, but this piece of, piece of meat is coming from the same part, like this. By the look of it, it looks like, a, like a, this part looks like a chuck tail flat part or something, but actually this one is coming from a brisket. Okay, a lot of people talking about slow smoked brisket, and uh, in Australia, that part using slow small brisket, it's called uh, point end brisket. And the people talking about the point end brisket comes in uh, two different muscles. One is point part, and uh, the other part is called uh, flat part. Actually, this dingo bait coming from uh, really end of uh, point part. So the brisket, point end brisket, is coming. You don't need to describe it. If you cut in here, you see the bone here, and you see the breast part, and you see the tiny bit of muscle here. If you cut in half, you don't, I'm telling you, you don't need to describe it. And you see the tiny bit of muscle here. That's a sort of a point, part of a point and brisket. And this one's the really edge of the point and brisket. Okay? So, this dingo bait is a really unique name. And uh, this dingo bait normally we supply to uh, some of the Korean barbecue restaurants. We really slice the thing. I just slice it like this. People are talking about the highly marble like this, like this, but actually this is not really marbling. It doesn't matter like why you beef, it's already uh, normal beef, still a little bit marble like this. But actually this is not really marbling. So, especially customers, like uh, our Korean barbecue, they slice really thin, okay, like this. So, they can barbecue. And uh, these days, really, people know it, what the dingo bait is all about. You may see some uh, Chinese uh, grocery shops. Also, for Chinese customers, they use only this fat. Really, this is the end of the point and brisket. This actual fat, we also call it the brisket fat. You will see thin this like to this brisket part and that uh, Chinese hot pot. So for the Korean customer, they slice really thin like, like this. And the Chinese people hot pot, not all of them, some of them, they only use this fat. But actually, this is not fat. It doesn't really melt in the hot pot. It doesn't really dissolve in hot soup. So people, especially Chinese people, enjoy the actual texture of this muscle. And not muscle, this is fat. So it's a really unique name, and not many people know about it. So you love cooking a slow smoked brisket, and uh, this part is really, really affordable as well. Not many people know about it. So you can buy this only this part meat and for slow smoking because everyone loves a uh, point part of a uh, brisket. So this is the only the only good part of a uh, brisket. So I highly recommend if you know somebody, if you know like a wholesaler or buy online, you may get it. It's getting more popular at the. Uh, Korean barbecue and the Chinese hot pot, okay? Thank you so much.